Welcome back to another video on the Nomads channel. This is the first video that I'm doing in quite a while as I've spent the last several months really being aggressive on posting as often as possible on TikTok, which I will link. You can check out my account right here. Uh, James Life is the username and I've built a little community there, but now I am back and ready with more travel guides and vlogs coming up soon, some mini docs and short films and, and everything. And so I'm really, really pumped for this video in particular as we are going to be talking about the six best waterfalls in and around Ottawa. So I've spent a lot of time exploring some of these and I've come up with my favorite six. I'm not ordering them by favorites, I'm just ordering them randomly so you can pick whichever ones you wanna to go to. But with that said, we're gonna hop into the very first waterfall which is within city limits. It's the only one that's actually in the city and that is Princess Louise Falls in Orleans. This is one of the most beautiful waterfalls around. It's almost like a tropical Costa Rica and Bali vibe. Parking is a little bit difficult, so if you do decide to head to this waterfall, you may have to park quite a ways away and walk, um, as it is a little bit tricky on that regard. But this place is gorgeous, it's stunning, it's a great place just to check out for a little bit. You can get some great photos, you can get some great pictures, and you can get some great videos there too. Um, and it's just a, it's a really easy spot that's awesome, so that's why it's the first one on this list. The second one on this list is actually Luskville Falls. Luskville Falls is in Gatineau Park and it's one of the most beautiful places around in spring and fall. In the summer months, it does tend to dry up and is not quite as aggressive with the water that flows down. However, when I was there in mid-September recently, it was stunning and gorgeous. And I'll use this photo right here just to show a little bit of scale as to how big this thing actually is. This is a great and easy hike. It is quite rocky, so bring some proper footwear and attire, but you will not be disappointed in Gatineau Park. Great, great spot to check out. The third location on this list is Chute de Denome in Denome, Quebec. This is about 50 minutes north of downtown Ottawa, so about an hour depending on where you're coming from in the city. And this spot is another one of those gems that is just gorgeous. I actually found this from a recommendation of somebody commenting on one of my TikToks, telling me to go there, and I was absolutely marveled. You can definitely tell that with all the beautiful trees around that this is going to be a place that is going to be spectacular come the fall with all of the colors so I will be heading back for a second visit not too soon. This is really a spot that's it's got an easy hiking. It's got a great set of hiking trails around that you can go and do the full network and the full loop and then finish at the falls or you can just go right from the parking lot almost directly there. Your choice. This is just a great spot that you gotta check out. It's not too far, really worth a visit. The fourth waterfall on this list is the farthest one away, and that is High Falls in Algonquin Park. This is about a three hour drive from Ottawa, but don't let that discourage you because this one in particular is extraordinary. And the reason that it is extraordinary is because one out of all of these, except for maybe one, it has the most amount of water flowing through it, and two, it is the only natural water slide on this list. I did not get to try this, however, there are so many people every year that go just to slide down the rocks. Um, definitely be careful, this is not an endorsement to do so, but it is something that people do pretty frequently. And if you are going to do it, make sure that you are a strong swimmer and that you are with somebody who has done it before. But. This spot is great for swimming. There's a few pools up top um, beforehand that you can take a dip in to cool off in the summer months. It's a great, great place, worth a day trip. And there's also t so many different places that you can see in Algonquin Park and in that region that you can kind of make a full day trip and hit up multiple spots in that area. The fifth waterfall that I'm going to be talking about is located in Chinebro, Quebec, and this is Fort Coulange. Fort Coulange is majestic to say the least. While we were there we were lucky enough to see it with absolutely stunning and incredible rainbows over the waterfall. Uh, we got the drone up and this spot in particular also has zip lining and other outdoor activities in the park. It is not open 24 7 so you will have to check which hours that it is available to go to but this is maybe the most majestic and impressive out of all of them on the list especially with the rainbow that you can find from time to time if the lighting is good and you're there at the proper time of day. But this is definitely a spot that you should check out only about two hours away. You can easily make a day trip out of it and maybe get some zip lining in while, zip lining in while you're at it too. And the last waterfall on this list is Chute de Plaisance, which is located just outside of Montebello, Quebec, about halfway between Montreal and Ottawa, making it a great place for both cities to have access to. 
This spot is remarkable, it's beautiful, and one of my favorite things about this is the amount of picnic tables around. So you can easily go with some friends, set up a little charcuterie board, have a nice picnic, and be right next to, next to some rapids as well as some very majestic waterfalls. All of these on this list are incredible to go see. Some are bigger than others, some are a little more tropical looking, some are a little more tropical looking, but overall these are so much more impressive than I ever would have expected from little old Ottawa. And this list, I've been pretty happy to have gone to all of them, but just letting you know that I will be uploading on this channel every single Friday moving forward, so this new upload schedule is going to have more videos just like this, whether it's waterfalls or hikes or so many other things in the Ottawa region across Canada and hopefully eventually once restrictions loosen internationally once more. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you got any sort of value, be sure to subscribe, like, or comment, or better yet, share this with a friend that you want to bring with you to any of these. Again, every single Friday will be coming up, and hope to see you soon on the next one. And until next time, peace and goodbye. Oh.